Hi guys, welcome to episode 14 of Best Mac Apps. Today I will be showing you 6 Best Mac Apps for March 2018. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. The first app on the list is called Sync Bird. Here, this is the look of the app. What this app does is it allows you to manage most files on your iOS devices, including your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, without the need of iTunes. It is another great replacement to iTunes. It can transfer music, photos, videos, books, and everything else between your iOS devices and your Mac without using iTunes. As you can see, this this is the iTunes library. Whatever on my iTunes, it also available here. Let me plug in my iPhone quickly. Okay, I plug in my iPhone already. Now just wait for it to scan my iPhone. Okay, and this is the pie chart that shows how much space my audio file consumes on my iPhone and apps and others, photo as well. So it shows you this simple pie chart so that you can see how much free space you have, your system file, how much it consumes and everything else. And at the moment it just changed the color by itself, the theme. You change the theme to look different, you go to settings and here they have lots of background theme that you can change, for example like this one. And this is on my iPhone music. I have 77 songs on it. I can just copy all of these songs from my iPhone back to my Mac easily. To select all, it's simple. You just click Command A, it will select all for you. And then you, you see this MacBook logo. You see this is sent to Mac. You also send it to iTunes as well. Or you can send it to another device. But you have to plug in another device through another cable so that it can transfer from one device to another. So Let's say I want to transfer one song, this one, from my iPhone to my Mac. Just click here and select location. I just put it on my desktop, click open, it starts transferring. Okay, now it's done. You can see it's complete here. If I go to my desktop, here, it says Sync Bird Export. Here's the song. It is as simple as that. Now let me try to transfer from one device to another. I will plug in my iPad. So right now I have two devices plugged in. Let's try to transfer one song from one device to another. Like this, you click send to device. It will start transfer if you know which device you plug in. If you plug in three devices, it will ask you to choose which one. But because this one, I only have one device, so it knows exactly which one it's done let me show you my iPad screen okay, this is my iPad screen let's take a look at the music see this is the song that I transfer at the moment so it just go directly to my music app you can also transfer photos videos audio and so on personal information let me select my iPhone again with this app you can also check your apps that have installed on your iDevice you can also delete any app you like through this which means you can delete multiple apps at the same time or all of them this is very handy and you can see the app they show here is only the third-party apps the app that you downloaded from App Store it's not the built-in application it doesn't show here so you can just delete all of these apps like before you want to sell your iPhone you want to make it clean as clean as possible before you sell it you can just delete all these apps here using this app it's very cool very convenient and also last but not least you can also clean your iPhone or iPad iOS device so right now I click on my iPad let's scan my iPad and see if I have any junk files in it So you can see it found 21.05 megabytes that I can select to delete. I click clean here. If you ask me confirm start save clean, if I click OK, it will remove 21 megabytes of junk files and I will gain 21 megabytes for my iPad. Let's take a look at my iPhone. You do the same. You click start over. I'll click scan. Okay, they have like 1600 files junk files on my iPhone and I can get 140 megabytes back if I click clean. I want to show you my iPhone screen, how much storage I have left. You look at about, look at my storage right now, it is 39.26 gigabytes. If I click clean here, click OK. Now look at my iPhone screen, go back, go back again. You can see I gain more storage back, 100 megabytes back right here. So you can use this app to remove junk files from your phone as well. Okay, this is app number one. Let's move on to app number two. App number two is called Privatus here. This is the app. 
the look of the app it looks very simple what this app does is it allows you to securely remove all tracking cookies unnecessary cookies flash cookies silver light and databases from your mac automatically as you know that when you access any web browsers like safari firefox google chrome after you access it it will leave behind the histories the cookies and everything else on your browsers app so if you open this and turn it on it will make sure that whenever you open this and after you close the app all the information that you have access on the internet everything else cookie and so on history will be gone no one else can access it safari and firefox usually they have their own private windows if you open it they have here new private windows where whenever you open anything all the histories and cookies and everything will not be saved firefox as well but some other browsers like google chrome that feature is not available because some of you may like google chrome but it does not provide private windows for browsing websites and also other web browsers like webkit or chromium or camino for those web browsers you can use this app so that you can access the internet through the web browser securely without having to worry about any cookies any left behind cookies or history and as you can see down here because i already have three browsers installed on my mac it shows only three but if you have like web browsers like chromium or camino or webkit it will show all in here you just turn this on and here when you click this it shows you what you can do with each browser you can click here to remove cookies local storage database flash silver light catches and so on here even the downloads whatever you download using safari with normal private windows it can only here they say after you close the window safari won't remember the pages you visit your search history or your auto field information but with this app you can do more than that as you can see here so this one would be very useful in case like you share your mac with someone else and then you just open this let it run here you just let it run at login and high you can see and then you turn this on and then anyone who want to use your mac they try to download something or they browse something when you turn this on they don't know it they just browse as normal but it secretly delete any files they download from this any browsers you have here and also they this one remove any histories they use whatever websites they have been to it just delete all of it safely for you they can just click here history everything here i would click never access it something like cartoon I go to this web page look at history I'm gonna close it history is still here cartoon let's close it and check it again see that website you're just browsing at the moment is gone this is just another way to help make your Mac secure and safe especially when you share your Mac with someone else okay this is app number two let's move on to app number three app number three is called app fixer here. and the look of this app is very simple it's a lightweight app what this app does is it allows you to remove preferences and other settings from misbehaving apps so you can fix any problems from any apps that you have installed basically this app can help you reset any of your apps to its factory settings or its first time use this is especially useful when you have a favorite app that somehow misbehaves because of malware or scams from the internet this app fixer app will reset its settings to its original settings just like you start using that app for the first time let me show you example here let's say safari you see here, this is soft to solve most problems with Safari. A hand reset will completely remove all Safari's cookies, history, extensions, bookmarks. So they would recommend you to choose the soft one, not the hard one. And this is what it will remove. So I do not want to remove my bookmarks. I just choose the soft one. And if you look at my Safari here, this is my Safari. If I click fix it, it's done. It fixed quickly. And I try to access it again. And as you can see, it just reset it to the original settings. You can go to Google. And this app also really comes in handy when you have tried to install too many plugins or extensions for any app. And then it ended up 
making that app crash or behave strangely for example like you have let's say your final cut pro you have installed lots of plugins in it and everything you download it from internet and then it end up crashing your final cut pro usually you have to uninstall this app and reinstall it to fix the problem but with this app you just add it in here it will fix the problem for you it will reset all the settings and remove everything else from your app and change it to the original settings you don't have to uninstall the app it's very useful and at the moment my safari i have like plugins here if i choose the hard one it will remove everything and again it would comes in handy if you like want to sell your mac and you want to remove everything from your safari you don't want anyone to see anything with this app it just remove quickly for you okay this is app number three let's move on to app number four app number four is called os cleaner master here what this app does is it allows you to scan every inch of your Mac system to remove gigabytes of junk files from your Mac quickly and easily so that your Mac system will stay healthy. Basically, it is very similar to Clean My Mac 3, this one here. Its feature is almost the same. You can see here, junk files, they have iTunes junks. This one also have the iTunes junks, but they have aliases files. They have duplicate files, mail attachment, they have the same here. Large and old files, same. Archive files, they don't have here. Movies, audio, PDF, install packages, this one doesn't have. But they also have the same here, uninstaller. Privacy, they have maintenance here. They have the privacy, the same. Extension, shredder. So most features are the same, but they have some features that are different on OS Cleaner Master and I find this also very useful you can clean your iTunes chunks click here and you click scan done these are the iTunes chunks so you can see here they say iOS backup 15 gigabytes so if you think you want to remove these from your Mac, you can just remove it from here. It's very convenient. So like you want some storage back. Like right now I have only 46 gigabytes left. If you want some more back, you just delete it here. Let's say I don't delete this. They also show you the broken backup. This one, I can just delete that. Done. iTunes catches, I can also delete it done. If you want to delete the backup, you can also do so. So basically this app will optimize the performance of your Mac by keeping your Mac system clean from any junk files including iTunes junks, duplicate files, mail attachments, large and old files, archive files, movie files, audio files, PDF files, and installation files here. You also can scan for any duplicate files So by adding folder here. I have a folder on my desktop, let's say music, choose, scan. No duplicate. If there's duplicate, it will tell you where and you can delete it easily. You can also scan your mail attachment. These are all my mail attachment. I can just delete it from here. All and large files. It just scan quickly. It scan much faster than Clean My Mac 3. It tells you the year, how long it is. It is categorized into different sizes. You want to delete the biggest size down here or from 5 to 10 they have a lot here you can choose to delete any one you like and archive files archive file here is referred to the zip file or the winrar file if you click scan here all the zip and winrar files that you have any kind of archive files it will show you here and you can delete by yourself movies if you have movies here i have a lot of movies here audio it scan the whole system for you here, they have all the music here, everything you have, PDF, here to show every PDF that you have. This is very convenient, very useful. For example, you have your PDF everywhere and you feel like you miss one PDF file that is important for you and you don't know where you saved it. You can just use this app to scan the whole system to find any PDF file available. It just show you everything here and you can just open it to find where you have this. Here, it show you where. If you click the I logo here it will open that for you it's very convenient very useful and if you click on the install packages you click scan it will show you all the installation files that you have downloaded from the internet or wherever you have it will show you all the downloaded packages that you have downloaded or copy from anywhere uninstaller here it's just like in clean my mac 3 it just find and remove any applications for you just click delete everything you want to delete it just let you select to delete whatever you want you can delete only just the app or you can delete the whole thing like the preferences the supporting files the login and so on privacy you can scan so basically privacy here 
it will scan all your web browsers to find any histories or cookies and so on so that you can clean it through this app as well and you can also scan your extensions it will scan all the extension that you have installed on any of your web browser apps including your safari like my safari i have all of these installed if you take a look at here i have it here and let's say i want to remove all of that i don't need it I click let's say i want to keep only one to translate i just clean here done let's go to the app let's close it first you have to completely close it open it back on you see it only have one left so basically you can see by yourself this app is very useful for you okay this is app number four let's move on to app number five app number five is called flux here as many of you may have already known Flux, what this app does is it allows you to change the color of your Mac computer's display to adapt to the time of day you are at. You can go to preference here and choose recommended color. It will adapt the color, temperature and everything. And if you think it's too much, it's too yellow, you can also change it based on your preference. This is with before change. This is after it. You can change like this. So it's very useful. This app is free. You don't have to pay money. And it's just awesome for you to change your display's color easily. And you see by doing this, it will reduce the problems to your eyes when you look at the computer screen at night. And you can see with the feature here, it's simple. You can choose at bad time, but you see it's too much. You can change it back to daylight, daylight. This is in the morning or sunset. So this app is simple and easy to use and it has very simple preferences you can see here for you to change. You can also adjust the color manually if you think the automatic color adjustment is too much like what I just showed you at the moment. I recommend you like this and you think it's too much you can adjust it by yourself based on your preference. And without a doubt this app is so useful. I would recommend you having this app on your Mac. Okay this is app number 5. Let's move on to the last app. The last app of the list is called ICSoft 4K Converter here. This is the look of the app. What this app does is it allows you to convert any 4K video to basically any video possible video format. You take a look at here. You can convert it to any possible video format you can think of for any devices. You can even convert it to be used with your Final Cut Pro. If you record using your iPhone, let's say your iPhone 8 or 8 Plus or iPhone 10, it will allow you to record up to 4K 60 frames per second. But when you copy to your Mac, you try to play it with QuickTime Player, it doesn't work. So in that situation, you can just convert 4K to 4K here, which means you choose this, you convert to 4K like this one. This one also works for Final Cut Pro, but you can also convert to anything else, HD video, 3D, iPhone, iPad, and everything else as you can see. You can even convert for Samsung smartphones. So any format you can think of, it will have it here. It's just very convenient, very useful app that you should have. Let me show you example here. Let's say I have this one video, one 4K video. I want to export it to my Mac, put it on desktop. We will click on desktop. This is the file, and if I try to open it, you can see this is the document could not be opened. The file isn't compatible with QuickTime Player. Even though the ending is MOV, but it does not support because this one is taken using my iPhone 8 Plus. It is recorded at 4K 60 frames per second. It just doesn't support, but you can just convert it by using this app. So I just drag and drop here. So after I convert, it will be able to play. Let's convert. If it is a small file, it will convert very quickly. But if it is a large file, it will have to take time. Just wait for it to convert. Okay, now they say completed. Just click here. You quit this app. And now they have the same video file, but they have different extension at the end. And if you try to open with QuickTime again, here, it will open. As you can see, so if you take a look at the information about this video, the screen resolution is at 1496 by 2160. If you take a look at this one, it's 3840 by 2160. So it's convert even bigger than before, but the size of the video is much smaller than before. 
But again, it's still 4K and it is playable now. As you can see, this app is very cool. You should have it. I have also include all the links of all the apps in the description below that you can check them out if you like them. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.